Hi, I'm Zach, and you're watching Bite Size. Today I'm going to show you how to build a gulper eel. My friend Austin builds puppets for a living. Last summer he called me up and wanted help on a project that he was building. He was building a gulper eel and wanted to put LEDs that light up and blink in certain patterns, so naturally I said yes and was really excited to help him out with this. Austin started out by purchasing some large sheets of foam insulation, typically used in construction, and glued them together to make a big block of foam. He used various tools to carve the foam and sculpt a rough shape of the eel. Then he took some sandpaper to create all of the details. Austin bought a long strip of blue LEDs that we would use for the lighting effects. When he got to this point, Austin brought the eel to my house where I have all of the tools and the electronics needed to help him build the LEDs. We started out by cutting slots in the foam where he wanted the LEDs to go. Then we measured out each strip and cut it to the right length. Each LED strip needed to have a wire cut to the right length so that it could run through the foam and reach a central location. Because of the complex lighting effects Austin was after, I decided to use an Arduino Nano to control the LEDs. This is a perfect application for an Arduino. We needed six output pins for the LEDs and three input pins for the push buttons. The buttons will be used to select different lighting effect presets. Each LED strip drew between 75 and 150 milliamps of current. The pins on the Arduino can only source about 40 milliamps, so I chose to use a transistor to switch the voltage directly from the battery. The Arduino pins can safely drive the gate of the 2N7000 MOSFET. This MOSFET can drive 200 milliamps of current through its drain, which makes it a perfect size for this project. I used six of them, one for each LED strip. I used some screw terminals so we could easily connect the LED wires we ran earlier to the Arduino. After everything was soldered up, Austin connected the LED wires to the control board. I wrote some code in the Arduino IDE that uses pulse width modulation, or PWM, to slowly pulse the different LED strips. Austin's creative input was really helpful in getting it to look right. We made lots of adjustments to the code, and here is the end result. At this point, all of the electronics were done, so Austin took the eel back to his house, where he put on some really cool eyes and finished the skin. I think he used some sort of latex paint to give it sort of a reptile, scaly skin. My thanks goes out to Austin for letting me help on this project. If you want to learn more about what Austin does, visit crossstitchproductions.com or you can email him at info at crossstitchproductions.com. If you liked this video, please consider subscribing. I'm new to YouTube and that would help out a lot. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Go ahead and eat your dog. <laughs> <laughs>